Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I'm going to be telling you all the couple of things that I purchased while I was on my vacation in Europe. So, if you're not aware, my husband and I celebrated 10 years of marriage last week on October the 10th, and so we were in Europe for 10 days. We went to go visit Paris, then we went to Venice, Florence, and then we ended our vacation in Rome. And we were so thankful and grateful because Within our first year of marriage, we were like, man, when we hit 10 years, we're going to Europe. And I previously, when I was 15, went to those uh, different cities and Sean had always wanted to go. And I was like, you know what? That is a great place to go for our 10 year. Like, that's kind of like our, we made it and this is how we're going to celebrate it. So it was the most amazing trip because of a few different things. Number one, it was just amazing to go. I mean, you don't go to Europe every day. Well, at least I don't. I don't go to Europe every day. So it was really exciting to go again, but it was like going for the first time because I went with Sean and I forgot a lot, like a lot. Like I forgot that the only way that you can really um, get to the island of Venice is by boat. Um, then I forgot that Florence was much more urban. So I was telling Sean like, oh yeah, Florence is like really, um, rule there's a lot of like greenery and stuff and then we step out of the train station and I was like huh has it always been like this <laughs> um, and so I, I, I forgot a lot so it was like being over there for the first time again the two cities that I remembered pretty well were Paris and Rome and um, but outside of that Venice and Florence it was literally like seeing for the first time so that was you know, one of the reasons, well, that's one of the reasons why it was really good to go. And then it was much more special to go with Sean. So being an adult, being able to really appreciate the architecture. Oh my gosh, the architecture just like took us aback. It was like, I could not, I just kept asking myself, like, how did these people build this stuff? Like, who thought of this? And then how did they do it? it the, the details of the buildings and the sculptures and the paintings I mean if you've gone it's just phenomenal and uh, so it was really special to be able to uh, take that trip with him and then almost more than any and everything what made that trip so momentous and so special was like we really did just 10 years of marriage together and we still like each other and we're very much still in love like We've had our ups and downs, we've had our struggles, we have two little girls, and marriage definitely is work. It is definitely not something that I think any and everybody should enter in lightly. I think if it's with the wrong person, my God, get out of it. Um, but when it's right, and when it's with the right person, it is so special. It is so, um, it's such a blessing to be a part of, and I'm so thankful that we have found each other and that we've made it to this point together. Like we're still saying yes, we're still committing to each other. And all of that made the trip and the idea of the trip, but the fruition of the trip just that much more special. Um, on our actual anniversary night, such a sad, I, uh, we had taken a picture, I'm gonna post a picture here. We had taken this picture in uh, Venice. This was over the Rialto Bridge and uh, someone had come along and we were about to take a picture and the guy was like, oh, a, a rose. Clearly he wanted us to buy some. And so we did. So uh, we took this picture and on our anniversary day, we were at dinner and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this picture of my screensaver. And I don't know, maybe it was the wine or I don't know, but I looked at it and I just started to tear up and cry a little bit. And I was like, Sean, like, this is so special. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm just thankful and blessed to have him in my life, to be able to share this life with him. And, you know, I was so thankful that we were able to, to commemorate our anniversary and really follow through with what we wanted to do um, because that in and of itself is a blessing. So, enough of the sap. Of course, I did a little shopping. It did do a lot. I did a little bit. But I had posted some pictures of some makeup stories and um, someone was like, I would love to see what you got. And so I said, I'll share it. It's not a lot. I just got a couple things. So I'll go in order of where we went and what I purchased if I remember. So the first thing we did was we went to Paris. And as soon as we stepped out of the airport, I was like, why does it feel like it's 23 degrees out here? It was cold in Paris. 
very cold in there. The high every day was like the low 60s, but I guess maybe over there it's just, you know, there 59, 60 felt like 40 something. It was cold. So first thing I bought was a jacket. So I got this jacket from Zara. I love Zara. And where I live, we don't have a Zara store. So anytime I go to a place with a Zara, I'm like, we gotta stop by there. Even if I don't buy anything, I just wanna physically go in there. So here's the jacket. Let me make sure y'all can see. So here's the jacket, and I liked that there was a slit right here, and that it's a little longer in the back, and then it had this hood. So, do I not look chic? I thought so. <laughs> but I loved it, and I felt like it was stylish, but it would keep me warm too, and it's not heavy feeling, like as much as we walked around, I pretty much wore this jacket every day, y'all. It was so freaking cold over there. I mean, not like 30 some degrees, but we were out early, so of course it's always colder earlier in the day, and I was able to wear this jacket without feeling like it was heavy or anything, so it felt like a, you know, a pillow. Oh, it just felt so warm and cuddly. And it was great while we were traveling because we were on a plane a couple times and then we were on the train. So <laughs> I would make this a pillow, I'd fall off the hood, put it right there. Oh, it was great. So this was the first thing I purchased. Second purchase was also from Zara. More than the clothes, I love Zara's shoes. So I got these knee-high booties. Well, I wore these while I was over there. So this is what they look like. And um, they come up to my knee and they were they are very comfortable I actually wore those in Venice I'm gonna insert a picture here so you can see them um, I see them see how they look on me but I really really enjoyed them so when I saw them I was like oh I've been looking for a pair of boots like that that you know it's got a little bit of a kitten heel but don't look like a grandma heel like you know that much of a heel but I still feel kind of like sexy and jazzy and jazzy in them um, so I was really happy about that that was another purchase and then we went to Venice next. So while we were in Venice, that's where I got the majority of my stuff. Yeah, we were in Venice. While we were in Venice, I bought a couple of purses. I love purses. I got this leather purse here, and I thought it was so cute. I love purses like this. And then what I thought was really neat was that you can take these off the hook, and um, the strap can be longer, so it'll fit more like a crossbody. So here are the, well, here's the gold part. And then here's the purse, like that. So I thought it was cute. So I have that, I got that purse. Then um, my, my youngest daughter, Emma, loves purses. Maddie does too, but Emma's like obsessed with purses. She gets it from me, honestly. So um, I bought this purse, a nice little like small crossbody here. And then we bought them um, a yellow and an orange one like this. But I thought this was so cute. And it actually says on it, made in Italy, so I thought that was cute. Here's the inside of it, but I thought this was cute for, um, when I need a smaller purse to be running around with, or like going out at night. And then I bought this purse. I think this is my favorite out of all the purses. So truth be told, um, I want a Chanel purse. I want the purse that's quilted like this with the Chanel logo right here. So this is my like, uh, foreshadowing of when I get my Chanel purse, I'm gonna speak it into existence because, you know, you gotta speak what you want, right? So I got that purse. And those are my purses. I love like smaller purses. I don't really like big purses. The biggest purses that I own are the purses that I used when I was, when I had babies. But everybody who knows me knows I like like smaller, like not too big purses. So when I saw those, I was like, perfect, they're me. Okay, so that, and then I bought like two like, you know, t-shirts um, from Italy that have like Italy on them and stuff like that. I don't want to go get those, but whatever. So on to the makeup, because that's why you're here. So the first makeup store I went to was Kiko. So I heard of the brand, but never purchased anything from them and um, never was able to physically see like a store, like a Kiko store. Reason being is because they are made in Italy. That's their home base. So there were tons of Kiko stores everywhere. Their products are drugstore ranged prices. So if you know me, you know I love foundations. So I had to try it. So this is the Skin Tone Foundation. Um, it has an SPF of 15 in it and I have mine in the shade Warm Beige 125. I'm actually wearing the foundation today. And I have two foundations with me on the trip. I bought the Pat, Mag Pat McGrath Foundation and the Dior Air Flash Foundation. But honestly, I primarily wore this one whenever I wore foundation. 
I love it. I'm gonna do a review of this one so you can see it in action. But this finish, do you see it? Cause I see it. So pretty, so skin like, so natural looking. Um, but it has really good coverage. But I, when I wore it, I wore it mostly like this, just more lighter coverage, just something to kind of cover the redness. But you can get more coverage from it. So I, I really, really have been enjoying that one. Kind of spoiler alert, I really like it. Then the sales clerk that was helping me, she had on this beautiful eyeshadow, and I was like, what is that? And she said that the shimmer was from this eyeshadow quad. So, make sure you see there you go. So she was wearing this shade right here, and I was like. I need it. So this is called their, um, let me swatch this real quick for y'all. So this is called, here are the shades here, and I was like, that is pretty. So this is their Pop Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade 03, and this is Bordeaux right here, and this is gold. And then I bought another one in 02 red, um, with red, brown, and mauve. So this is red brown and then this is mauve so red brown and mauve right here and I was like these are my kind of shades I love a good shimmer but I liked that you honestly could really do almost full eye looks with just the quads alone and that's what I liked like even though both of these are shimmer and I love me some mattes to do my transition with but I feel like if you blew these out because they're so silky in texture um, you could pretty much do a full eye look with both of these so I really like these then while we were still in Kiko I got this blush so this is the unlimited blush in shade 04 hopefully you can see that I'll swatch that and this is such a beautiful shimmery blush I don't know if you can really see that. You might be able to see that here. Um, but I thought this was really pretty. Comes with a nice mirror too. You see the mirror right there. And I want to get more of their blushes. I should have bought more while I was there just because it would be convenient. Because when I say there was a Kiko everywhere, like everywhere. And then they were having a special on their mascara. So this mascara is called the Sicilian Notes Neutralize, Neutral Lash Mascara. And I have mine in the shade O2, which is black. And basically what they said was if you wore this, mas this mascara um, continuously, after about a month, you would notice that your lashes would be longer and fuller. So there's nutrients in this mascara to help your lash hairs grow. And I was like, hmm, I'll try it. So the wand is pretty interesting. You've got this, this is the front side of the wand, but then when you turn it to the side, um, do you notice that there's not like a back side to the mascara? And then here's the back of the mascara and there's no bristles on this side of the mascara wand. So when you go to apply it, I know when I go to apply it, I'll use the flat side and kind of like round up through my lashes that way to try to like pull the lashes up and then coat the mask, the lashes as well with mascara. And this is a pretty decent mascara. It's not the most voluminous that I've used, but it really is lengthening. So I've used it like mm, three, four times. Um, but I do want to use it more so that I can see if I do see a difference with my lashes. Okay, then we went to, oh, so I was looking for the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, and I wanted the Fenty Beauty, um, uh, Diamond Balm to highlight. So, we are so blessed to be in America in the land where all makeup is mostly available. <laughs> what I mean by that is, there were Sephora's everywhere, and I was like, great, there's Sephora's everywhere, like, here I go. But was my shade everywhere? Absolutely not. My shade in a lot of the Sephora's I went into wasn't even a tester, okay? Not even a tester. Am I the deepest shade there is? Absolutely not. But considering where I was and considering that there are more fair people in those countries than are my complexions, it was like, wow, I can't find my shade anywhere. I, I did though. I did. I found it in, where was I? The train station in Florence. Finally had my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Caramel. I was like, you're like 
uh, either a hot commodity over here or non-existent over here. They had all the, uh, and the thing was, it wasn't that they didn't that they didn't even have texture shades that were deeper. It was like light, you know, medium skin tones. My shade was not there, and then they had like a few deeper uh, shades. So I don't know. Maybe they only get a couple of the deeper shades since more complexions over there are fair, and the ones that they get sell out faster because there's not too many. I don't know. I didn't ask because I wasn't going to do that. But I did get, I did repurchase the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you saw my declutter video for my foundations, you heard me struggle about this and I eventually was like, yes, I'm going to declutter it, but I'm going to buy it again. And I did because you know what my husband's paying for, I'm buy it. So that's what I got that. So really excited to have that again. And then I got, and this, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Then I got Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. Now, this is the one in Hollow At Me. This is her newest one. I didn't get the first one because I felt like, I don't know, I didn't like how it looked on me. So this is the, um, this is the newest one. This one I like more because it has that like pink shift to it. So I'm gonna put a little something on someone because this is so pretty. And I'm so glad I have it. So I love the pinky shift that this highlight gives. Can y'all see that? It actually looks really good with the blush I have on today. Y'all see that? I hope you can. But I was like, yes, give it to me. And once again, Sean was paying, so I was buying. My next to last purchases. So we went into the, uh, the last place that we stayed at in Rome we were right next to this like luxury shopping center that really, I guess it was like a luxury um, beauty shopping center because there was tons of like luxury perfumes, um, you know, makeup, and things like that. I didn't really see any clothes, and but there were a few different levels and I only went to the beauty level because um, that was ground level and that, that was all I was interested in. Anyway, so um, I walk in there and I had been eyeing this little duo here. So I had just finished watching, um, oh my camera's about to be that. Anyway, let me talk fast. I had just finished watching Kinky Sweat do a review of these two new products by Shiseido. So this is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I have mine in the shade 420 Bronze. And this is the Synchro Skin Refreshing Concealer. And I have mine in the shade 303. So I was like, I wanna get these because this looked really good on her. And I was about to buy it and then we, we're staying into this, staying next to this luxury beauty shop, and I was like, I'm gonna get it here. And so we buy it, and as we're walking out, Sean was like, Dag, foundation and concealer cost $80. And I was like, uh -oh. and just walked out. <laughs> and it was cool. I was like, you know what? He was like, you know what, you know what, you know what? We don't do this every day. I was like, right, we don't do this every day. And you promised me at my 10 years I would get a new ring. And I'm not even asking for a new ring, so I think I'm saving you money, right? And he was just like, right, right. So that was it, guys. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to wrap this up. But that's all I bought. I don't think I bought too much, right? I don't think I did too bad. But I enjoyed myself. More importantly, we had a great time together. And yeah, so you'll be seeing some of these products in future reviews and demonstrations and tutorials. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is very chill. Just want to show you what I got while I was over there. And if you are new, definitely stick around, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for your constant support. It really does mean a lot to me. And I really hope to see all of you in my very next video. Bye, guys.